started. Tulipo from Canada. Okay. Let's try another Sicilian. Had some fun with the Sicilians lately. Uh, of course, that was when my opponent was playing the Sicilian. Let's see what we get here. And maybe I'll do a dragon. Always entertaining. <clears throat> if he allows it. Yep. So uh, a lot of times I'll play the move knight to um, c6 there. Going into the classical instead of a g6, which is the dragon. So this is... Uh, <clears throat> uh, one of those lines. Uh, maybe that's the Fisher. The Fisher sows an attack. I don't know if that's uh, so common against the dragon. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna put a pawn on e6 to sort of uh, <clears throat> blunt this bishop, and then I'm gonna castle the uh, king side, and I'm gonna not develop my light squared bishop for a while because there's uh, until you're fully developed, there's often a uh, threat of a sacrifice here on e6. Uh, bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, and if you don't have a bishop here protecting it, the knight would be forking the, the rook and the queen, as, as just one example. So you got to keep the bishop in line here. Let's uh, maybe play a move like um, b5, hitting the bishop. Okay, he just goes back voluntarily. Yes, I don't want to block my bishop after I, I just explained about the sensitivity of the e6 square. <laughs> I was about to play knight to uh, d7, which would have been a mistake. Okay, so knight there, maybe queen to uh, e7. What's my plan here? He castled kingside, so I don't have... Um, I can still get c-file counterplay as one possibility. Knight's coming in. He has the idea of a knight sack here sometimes too. So I'm walking into that, but I don't think it <clears throat> applies in this particular case. And I want to be able to get a rook to um, a rook to e7 if necessary. Rook to, rook to d8 if necessary on this file. I can take here. I'm going to go ahead and play bishop d7 though. Bishop d7 and rook, maybe this rook, rook to c8. And let him attack. He's, he's obviously thinking about playing the move um, f4 to f5, try and soften up my king side here. And I think, oh, look, he's reinforcing with even more pawns. So this is a bit loosening, isn't it? I'm going to get my rook here. I want to introduce the idea of uh, maybe uh, exchange sack on c3 here, and then I can win the um, e-pawn. It's a possibility. Ah, oh, he's protected that with his queen. Okay. Still, I need to um, do something. <clears throat> Maybe bishop to... Um, bishop to c6. Put it on line with the queen there. And um, this uh, sack on e6 is no longer uh, a threat because of the um, having traded off that knight. He's got another knight that can hop into uh, d5, so that's something to always be aware of. I don't think it does anything right now. Oh, okay, so he defends. So maybe I should just play um, e5 myself. That hits the bishop. He takes, I take, and it's, it's defended. Queen is hitting my uh, knight after the exchange, but it's defended by the bishop, so um, the knight should be okay there. Okay, you retreated the bishop. Now, do I want to open up the um, f-file for my opponent? <laughs> I kind of do. Because it opens up the um, e file for me, perhaps, and also this diagonal for the bishop. So if I'm not getting squashed, it leaves me the backwards pawn here. That is a um, downside, and I can't play um, e5 
d4, d5 rather, immediately. Okay, can I take here? Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes. No, I can't take. It's one, two, three, and one, two, three. Um, if I did it in a slightly different order, but he can always take with the knight first. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's bring the rook over. Now maybe I can play um, d5, because if he takes, I can take the rook. He takes, I take. Okay, so now he goes with the knight instead. So okay, so knight takes, pawn takes is a double attack on my queen and my bishop. Queen takes rook, pawn takes bishop, and the queen retreats, and I'm ahead. So queen takes rook, rook takes rook, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, check. King moves, attacking my rook, and now the rook is hanging and the bishop is hanging. Oh, but I can take with the bishop. Bishop takes, pawn takes. And it's not a double attack, so I can choose. <clears throat> I can choose whether to take his rook or not, or just step aside with the queen. I can also throw in a check. Oh, he's throwing in a move. That's interesting. Does that help him in any way? I guess he's saying, uh, if I take here, is there some sort of threat? No, I think I'm just winning a piece. <clears throat> he has to take my knight, and I'm just a piece up, right? I have to take here so he doesn't uh, undefend my f7 pawn. Now, mm, check. Does that really do anything? Queen here. King will go to uh, a light square, but I don't have a Server way to take advantage of that. I just drop back. What I'm doing is um, I'm protecting the square um, E. 8 here so I can oppose his rook on e8. Trade it off. This should be winning though. I, I, got, a, I got a piece up, right? So I just have to avoid getting um, <laughs> caught in some uh, perpetual. And uh, oh, he has two pawns that may become dangerous. Okay, so he decided to avoid the exchange. Probably the correct decision. Now, can I... Um, hmm... Can I threaten to take this pawn? Maybe not so easily. My idea is check, forcing. I want to force a trade of that rook, and uh, <clears throat> then with the remaining force, I think maybe I'll be able to mop up these pawns. It's also rook to uh, e3, hitting the queen and these pawns on the third rank. This pawn will become dangerous <laughs> if it isn't already. It will become dangerous, so I have to be somewhat careful. Okay, let's chase this queen a bit. Actually, if I control the third rank, I can come in with my queen to um, g3 or f3. Might be quite, quite dangerous. Now, if I take the queens off, let's move like queen to uh, e5. Takes, takes. Can he promote this pawn faster than I can stop it? 
So clean here, queen takes, rook takes, pawn advance, rook back, pawn advance, rook over. And I think I'm in time to stop it. Then he starts pushing this pawn, king over, push, take. Or he pushes these pawns. I think it's too slow, okay? At least that uh, decision was easy. Ah, so he didn't even start pushing the pawns. <clears throat> okay, so let's... Um, maybe try and blockade these pawns a bit. Hmm. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Somehow I let him gain a tempo there. And the bishop is now in the way of my uh, king. <laughs> okay, I've got to play uh, f6 and bring my king out this way. Need the king to help stop these pawns. Yeah, so he's got this slow plan of pushing here, take, take, pushing here, take, take. But this guy, the end of all that, this guy is hanging. And each time, uh, each step, each step along the way, I get uh, to exchange something and get my king one step closer. And if he pushes on with um, c6, oh, well, that's interesting. So now I can win um, <clears throat> just by taking taking the pawns off well actually I don't know I, I was thinking I, I was gonna win this pawn too um, that was a maybe a miscalculation we'll see maybe I can get over there and win it certainly the uh, the pawn ending is winning. But the rook ending is not necessarily winning with just a one pawn difference. Uh, it's hard to tell in a lot of cases, but uh, maybe this is a winning one. Because uh, I'll be able to win this pawn. He can't stop that, really. Check. Check. He can't get to uh, this square. My king is guarding it. He can go all the way back. <clears throat> okay, so let's Check. start promoting the pawn on the uh, B file. And I'm going to skewer his king and his uh, rook if he lets me with uh, rook to c4. If he pushes the uh, g pawn, I'm going to push f5. Check. If he does that, mm, what do I do? Do I just step back? Hold on to these pawns. Just don't want to be caught in any kind of perpetual checks. So I wasn't sure. I mean, if I run to the other side, if I run to the queen side, I have to run all the way. So that's Check. okay. That is a losing move there because this is an easily winning king and pawn ending. After he takes, um, I'm going to have two pawns over here against none. Or if he doesn't take, I'll just have uh, an extra pawn over here.
White resigns. Yep, no way to win that one. Okay, I'm going to uh, upload this and do a postmortem as usual. See you guys later. Bye.